the Zero Two W was a welcomed addition to the family of Raspberry Pis. And because it maintains the same form factor as the original Zero, it can fit in most cases made for that device. For this video, I'm going to share with you some awesome 3D printed cases for the Zero Two W. All of these cases can be found on Thingiverse and I'll leave links in the description box. Each of these cases were printed with a Dremel Digilab 3D45 with Dremel PLA. With that out of the way, let's have a look at these cases. First up, the Pocket Pi Revision 1.1 by Balentech. So the Pocket Pi is a no frills kind of case. There's cutouts for the micro SD card slot, all of the ports, and camera connector. Around back, you could connect a GPIO ribbon cable. The original Pocket Pi has four M2.5 screw holes. In revision 1.1, screws are optional as the halves can snap together. I dig the rounded edges and minimal case design. It's very slim, and as the title implies, can fit right in your pocket. It's definitely a case for those who want a basic level of protection. Next is the Honeycomb case by Nightshade, or is it Night Shadow? The Honeycomb case just looks awesome, and more importantly, the Pi Zero 2 can breathe. This Honeycomb pattern allows airflow on the top and bottom of the Pi Zero 2 W. There's also a cutout if you want to add a heatsink to the SOC. You will need four M3 screws, but beyond that, it's a cool and functional case. Finally, we have the Pi Zero for You case by Mr. Mind Meat. Don't say anything in the comments. So the Zero for You is a USB hub for the Pi Zero and Zero 2W. It connects with the Zero with these pogo pins, so no more micro USB dongles. The Zero for You case does not require screws, and after snapping everything together, you can connect whatever USB device you need. I have a few project ideas for the Zero for You, so subscribe so you don't miss those. There are plenty of Raspberry Pi Zero cases that you can 3D print. These three in particular really stood out to me, but I want to know what cases you guys like. Let us know down in the comments. If you found this video helpful or informative, give it a like and subscribe for more Raspberry Pi Zero 2 W content. I'm Jason and I will see you guys in the next video.